Hey everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics. And Aromatics is getting hungry. It's in the evening, I'm finishing up my evening of fishing here at the little lake that's by my house. Having the last pipe, probably the last pipe of the day. And the nicotine is kicking in a little bit. Had a cigar before this. Uh, I'm gonna do a little review here of what I'm smoking. I'm smoking some Five Brothers Burley. Continuing on with my year of Burley. Said I would do some more, smoke some more Burleys and get into them a little bit more and see what I like and what I don't like. And speaking of nicotine, one thing that it seems to really do that's the opposite for everybody else is it makes me hungry. Most other people say they smoke and it curbs their appetite. After I've had a good cigar, even if I've eaten a little bit beforehand, if I have a cigar or a pipe that's high in nicotine, it makes me, you know, my head spin a little bit. It also makes me hungry. Maybe it's a sugar thing. I'm not really sure why, why it does that, but I'll get into that a little bit after, uh, once I get into my review. So yeah, I am going to do a review of Five Brothers Burley. And this is about as raw of a burley as you can get. It's got a really nice looking cut, which I'll show you right here. And it's cut really shaggy. And it's got these little tiny bird's eyes in it. Which actually is kind of funny because it sort of reminds me of the bird's eye, uh, Dark Bird's Eye by Gowith and Hogarth in the look, only much lighter. And it actually kind of reminds me of that's what it would be if it wasn't dark fired. That, like if, the, if that Dark Bird's Eye wasn't dark fired, it kind of has that. I imagine that's what it would taste like. Which is surprising because this this blend supposedly is supposed to be really harsh and strong and and all this kind of, like you know knock you on your butt too with nicotine, but none of those things have applied to me when I'm smoking this blend. Let me light it up here and I will talk more about it. Now in the pouch, the smell it's basically nothing really. It just smells like a really, really subdued, like if you open up a cigarette package and just that real faint smell of kind of a cigarette kind of smell. Fresh, a real fresh smell. And the taste, yeah, I expected something to really hit me, like either nutty or harsh, because I've heard a lot of people just say it was the worst. Some people say it's one of the worst tobaccos they've ever smoked and wouldn't smoke it again. And they say it burns fast as a shag. For me, it did come dry, but the dryness that I like. Normally, I take my tobaccos and dry them out. This one, right out of the pouch. Just pinch it, stick it in. You can pack it. You can't really overpack. Well, you guys, you could overpack it, but it's not too picky because it's since it's already dry and a shag, it burns really good. But not that fast. It still goes out on me if I'm not puffing on it. And the taste is pretty mild. I'm surprised. It, the nicotine doesn't really hit me, or hasn't hit me so far. The retrohale is smooth. See if I can inhale it. Doesn't really taste much on uh, when you inhale it or retrohale it. It's smooth. It just tastes really natural and really fresh flavors that I'm getting is pretty one-dimensional. It's pretty pretty much just a Cheerio type flavor, like cereal. It's got a sweetness, but not like sugar added. It's just like that natural taste you'd get on a Cheerio in oats. So really, really light oat taste. Some tobaccos like say, it's Carter Hall or, or Raleigh, Raleigh or whatever, it's, um, Sir Walter Raleigh. They have a, they have a sort of a, a really oaty sweetness, but this just natural as you get and really mild. No tongue bite, you can puff away on it. Smokes really cool. Sometimes you get a little bit more of a, a smoky taste and I'm, I imagine that's probably from those little bird's eye, bird's eye um, pieces that are in there. If you look really hard at the picture that I showed of the cut, you probably see them. But 
Yeah, pretty mild. It's actually, I was expecting, I like harsh, strong, or not really harsh, but I like strong tobaccos that, that, that really stand out. And this one uh, actually kind of disappointed me. I expected more from it. Not bad though. Sweet, nice, easy. If you take your time with it, you get little those little oat nuances, like flavors of just a, a dry cereal. But it's funny, going back to the nicotine thing, uh, everybody seems to have a different kind of chemistry. The stuff that some people get hit with, I don't. Like say, um, let me see some, I should do a top list of my five top nicotine bombs. And that would, um, so this one not really, but the ones that do hit me are usually the, some high, like a heavy freak blends. Um, one that hits me pretty good is uh, Bay Unite is one that can hit me pretty hard. Um, the shags and the, the ropes from Gowth and Hogarth are medium. I can feel it, but they're not, they don't flatten me out by any means. Although Dark Plug, that one is the heaviest for me. That one is just, that one I have to take my time because it's full of nicotine. Um, what other ones? But yeah, oh, and another one is the, is some really like pure red Virginias, like say Cornell and Deal's small batch. Or Sansa Polkro, those ones, those ones are really heavy hitters for me too. Yeah, this keeps going out on me. Smoking it in my free hand. And yeah, so it's odd how that is, whereas other people, they might, you know, they might be hit by the ropes, but not by the Virginias. So, anyway, that's my little review and chit-chat. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, I don't know, it, don't, don't, if you expect something that's, like, super scary, it, don't, I don't necessarily believe the hype. You might not find it as strong as they say it is, either in nicotine or in, in taste. It's just a nice, pure burly that's really kind of light and airy. So... Anyway, that's about all I have to say about it. So I'm going to continue fishing and pack in, pack up soon so I can go home and eat. So you guys take care, and I'll see you later. Aromatics, signing out.